Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Um, just screwing with my mic. Okay, so, what you missed? Me walking to Jahara. You didn't miss anything. I got a couple new weapons, but that's about it. I have to find my controller. Oh, no, I wanna... That's not the button I wanted to press. Alright, Jahara. Just let me check my recordings. Yeah, they're good. Except for the voice narration one, but that's just always given. Alright, so... We're in Jahar to do stuff, I don't know. But all you missed was that I couldn't get past until someone, this war chief, vouched for me and it's all happy. Sunshiny rainbows, you know. Hopefully, anyway. Those two guys are fighting. Let's watch them duke it out. Do we get, like, plus five and blade if we keep, or plus five and hand to hand if we keep watching these guys long enough? Probably not. So there's no real point. That guy has goodies, but I already got, like, most of them, if not all. Yeah, this is the guy who, uh, vouched for us. Okay, apparently we gotta talk to people. Okay. No one cares. I hate when you have to talk to people in order to progress in the story. It's like, oh, you have to find out unnecessary information because... Dicks, that's why. It's not as if this is completely pointless. Anything interesting to say? No. How about you? No. Fuck you. What about you? Nope. Okay, then. These guys don't have anything interesting to say, so I care not. What about you? Yeah, I don't care. Alright, we should be able to pass now. When I say should, I mean I really don't know. Let's talk to these guys first, though. Oh, hey. Cutscene. These guys are essentially the Native Americans of this game, which means that we have to treat them with respect and give them casinos. A Jaya stick? A what? Oh, yeah, yeah, nah, that's what I gotta do, that's right. Alright, whatever. Let's sell it. I don't have any use for it. It's not spoken. It, it, it just does not interest me. Okay. So. This is new. What's over here? No one cares. No one cares still. My god, your race is an incredibly boring one. Is there anything of interest in this place? No, there isn't. Oh my god, this is tragic. How much guild do I have? A bit. Not as much as I'd like, though. Oh well. So can we go in now? Meet with the great chief, or whatever his name is. Sitting bull, sitting duck, more like it. Uh, it's funny because he was shot. 
But it's tragic because he was Native American, I guess. I don't know. I'm not paying any attention, but Jesus, look at that guy's beard! That is epic! So, can you, you know, help us use this? Because. This Nethysite. You have used Uh, yeah, sorry about that. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus, I've come. <laughs> it's funny because. It's you do not you know, know the workings of a stone. Then we are no different. Oh, so we drug our asses all the way over here on a hunch. In the and they don't even know how to use it. The gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. Uh -huh. But the manner of its use eluded uh -huh. us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stories. Wow, your gods are dicks. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Huh. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled Well, time. good for him. Just shows you that white guys are the only people who know what they're doing. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? No, it's, it's because she's a woman, isn't she? Meat. I knew it. I mean, let's be completely honest, guys. Women are completely useless, except for Fran and every beer on the planet, because... Yeah. Oh. They have their uses in my pants. Yeah, you know what I mean, don't you? I feel like making sex jokes now. So it's kind of a one-time use then. Okay, hey, that kind of sucks. What's up, chicken butthead? What do you have to say about this? this stone I'm pretty emo. Oh, okay, well, you, you keep doing that because you're just so good at it. Because, you know, you're pretty an emo. And, you know, when I say that, I really only mean emo. The power of men and the magic this? of good. Who the fuck is this, shrimp? I'm gonna fucking read your face. That's what they look like. They look like they're going, mm, that's good cocoa butter. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck cocoa butter is. Hey, it's Larsa. Larsa? Ah, Conquest. <laughs> oh, God, yes. You know he rocked Pinello's lunchbox so hard that she quivers every time he comes by. And I do mean come in both ways. Nah. <laughs> So, we're staying overnight, then. Hmm. To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. Oh. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. Yeah. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? What war? There's no war. It's a Near myth. The Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this. Well, you know, except Arcades, there because they can just crush the resistance outright, because use this aid as they have a huge armada. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that if you can nuke the bastards from the get-go, why don't you? Because, one, it would solve every problem that you could conceivably have. And, two, it's cheaper and less heartbreaking to have your less of your people die in battle as foot soldiers. No, I'm sorry, but if you have, like, get 12 of the Afrites, and you can take over Dalmas. It's that simple. It's a province. It's not even a kingdom. It's a province. You have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Ravanasta? You know my brother would do this. Even Larsa knows Vane's evil. Forgive me. I presumed over much. Little tight bastard in his... What the fuck is that, a frock? I don't even know. It looks like the puppy shirt from Seinfeld. Take me so your terrible. Then again, Seinfeld has a ooh, dead boyfriend. Rossler. Oh, it's just you. 
You saw me. So, what are you doing? What are you doing out here so late? Oh, you know, just hallucinating about my dead boyfriend. Oh, I see. So I remind you of him. No, it's coincidence. Sure it is. Come here. Okay. Strange. 